in the previous clipping, I spoke about the long term goals and the short term goals. Let me first of all talk about the long term goals. The first long term goal is increase in GDP and increase in per capita GDP. Now let's try and understand the difference between the two. GDP of course is the gross domestic product. That is increase in the domestic production of the country will naturally lead to the increase in the income of the country, the wealth of the country, the richness of the country in a layman's term. That is the economy is becoming strengthened and the per capita GDP means that the rise in income of all individuals. You see the per capita GDP is calculated on GDP upon the population size. That is it should not happen that the GDP increases of a country but the population is also rising or there are people who are becoming very rich and there are others who are finding it very difficult to sustain. So increase in GDP and per capita GDP is the real essence of the economic growth of an economy. That is to say that the Indian economy the long term planning is increase in both. The second goal of long term planning is full employment. Full employment means that all those people who are of the age of working and who are healthy and who want to work have employment have a job of their choice. That is they are able to earn for themselves that is called as full employment. If there is an economic growth but it is jobless growth that the economy is booming but what is happening only few people are working and those few people are making the economy rich is not good at all because the jobless growth can lead to unrest in the economy and unrest in the economy can lead to terrorism and other such violent activities because a devil's mind a um, Ideal mind is a devil's workshop. The third goal that we have is equity. Equity means equality in the economy. That is the share of profit is divided equally amongst all the individuals. Of course, it cannot happen that a laborer and a doctor start getting the equal amount of money but it means that the person who has put in his effort gets a good share of the economic growth. Well there is a distribution there is a difference between equity and equal distribution that is to say that equal distribution of course gives rise to equity but it cannot happen that all of us have equal share. We are going to have our share equally divided on the basis of our skills, expertise and knowledge. The fourth important long term goal is modernization. Modernization means not only in modern infrastructure but in good education and also that the conventional wisdom becomes modern outlook. That is people have a broader outlook and they come out of their narrow shells, they are advanced, there is of course technology but most important is that the manpower of the country has a very modern and rational approach. The fifth important goal is self-sufficiency. Self-sufficiency means that the country should be self-sufficient in itself. For example, in food grains if you say, the country should be able to feed its population. 
it should not have to ask or it should not have to get the grains from outside. For example, in 1965, USA had threatened India that it will stop the supply of growth that is by doing what? By stopping the supply of grains if we do not have cordial relationship with Pakistan. So, the self-sufficiency can lead to the strengthening of the country but if we are not self-sufficient, we can always keep getting threats from outside the world and we will always be exploited. Thus, if we have to export food grains, it is a very grim situation. So, self-sufficiency is of course another major long-term goals. So, remember there are five long-term goals of India increase in GDP and per capita GDP, second is giving full employment, third is equity, fourth is modernization and fifth is self-sufficiency. And a planning commission is always working towards achieving these long-term goals in all the five-year plans that we have. Of course, the five-year plans can have short-term goals but these goals are always there on the agenda.